Hey guys, welcome to that 1870s homestead. I'm Rachel, and if you are finding us for the very first time, we would love for you to join us and subscribe so you can follow along in the 2021 and catch back up on the last few years of us learning how to just be more self-sufficient here on this little farm. It's just my husband and I, so we do grow things a little bit on a smaller scale. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to join along. We do all things gardening, raising animals, preserving our food, even having fun though. We like to kayak, we like to go out and explore, and we take you guys along for all those fun journeys. But I have had this box here since probably mid-November, and I've not opened it, waiting for this moment to share it with you. So lots of, well, hey, hush. And we have two little dogs that bark all the time. Um, lots of lessons learned when you're learning to plant a garden. And one of those is getting your seed orders in way before you need your seeds. And especially 2020 taught us that with the mad rush and the shipping delays and whatnot. And also, um, something I do differently that a lot of people don't do is I grow what I call a staples garden. I should patent that word because it's a fun word. Um, but what that means is I grow just the basics. I don't grow any fun things. I know it's fun to do that. I used to do that when I first started gardening. And I was like, okay, well, what do I do with it now? Eggplants, we don't, I never, I never buy eggplant at the store, but maybe you do, and maybe that's a staple. But I started where um, the last couple of years, I just focus on those items that if all else fails, I know I can survive on these food items. Those are things like greens, salad, um, tomatoes, potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, carrots, peas, and beans. If I grow those things, I'm rock solid. So I wanted to share with you, kind of switch things up a little bit based on an experiment last year. And this entire seed order is from Haas Tools. I grew their seeds last year for the very first time. I've always been a tried and true faithful in my gardener um, grower of in my gardener seeds and in my gardener, I'm still gonna recommend them. But Haas tools, I had 100% germination rate. And that's hard to come by as a gardener um, because I'm by no means an expert and know that anything that I'm doing <laughs> is successfully contributing to the seed germination. So um, any help that I can get from um, a solid seed source, I'm gonna go after. So what did I get? Let me tell you. This is a fun bag. This is how much. And I've learned over the years too, you can go back and watch some of like I really described it well in last year's carrot planting video, learning how many seeds you actually need to plant to get a harvest big enough to preserve so that you can survive, have enough to put up for the year. And it's surprising how many seeds that is. For example, this is my peas for this year. This is 1,700 pea seeds. It takes, guys, a lot of peas to put up enough peas for the year. So that's fun. I'm just gonna go through these and show you what I got. Let me see if I can organize them real quick. So we can... So I have a lot of seeds left over. This was just what I needed to restock. Um, and I didn't remember what I buy. I bought, so I'm kind of surprised by myself. I must have felt a tad bit experimental, but that's okay. So 
I always, always grow Danvers carrots, and I'm looking at these packets going, why didn't I buy Danvers carrots? But I know why, I remember. So this is a Envy variety and a Bolero variety, and they are um, super hardy, high yielding, uh, probably a longer carrot than the da Danvers half longs, and they um, preserve well. So not all carrots preserve equally when it comes to canning, and that's lessons that I've learned in the past. So if you have questions about what um, I've learned, go ahead and leave comments and I'll try to answer you back. Cucumbers, we put up a ton of pickles as well as relishes every year. So I got a Stonewall cucumber and the National Pickling Cucumber. The Stonewall is more of your slicers and we love fresh cucumber salads during the um, actual growing season. Two cabbages. I'm gonna try to do better this year. Last year I struggled with cabbage to um, not protecting it well enough from the cabbage moths. I'll be honest, I've never been successful enough to grow enough my own, I'm still learning. So I tend to usually have to go to the farmer's market and supplement my own harvest. Um, but I got the early round Dutch and the red acre cabbage. So we're gonna try to do better about growing our own cabbage this year. I did buy the Kentucky Wonder pole beans. I did not do a huge harvest this year of pole beans because the year prior I had. So this year I'll really need to do a decent harvest and um, planting of pole beans. Again, another fun lesson. Sometimes you don't have to grow as much because you had such a great harvest the year before. Um, so it's always just balancing how your pantry stores are doing. For greens, we've got the collard greens um, and three different lettuces. Siphos butterhead lettuce. I grew butterhead lettuce and a butter crunch lettuce this year for the first time. This one's the butter crunch and I loved them both. Um, and then we got just the salad bowl red lettuce. Okay, and then the foremost, my thing that I think I'm starting to figure out. I don't know if this year was luck or if I figured something out, but our beets for pickled beets. We love our pickled beets and I got a bag of beets. Um, so what else? Todd wants to grow sweet corn. So I got him a little packet of sweet corn. He wants to do that out back. And he wants to grow a lot of sunflowers. So I got him three different things of sunflowers. So what is this one? Uh, Pro Cut Gold Light, that's really pretty. The White Knight Sunflower and the Pro Cut Lemon. Lemon, cute. So that those are Todd's garden flowers. I have never grown calendula, so this is the one thing that I will um, be adding to my garden in this year just for some more um, I have borage out there now. I have poppies. Um, we grow lavender. So calendula will, will be a new mix. So what is missing from this seed haul that I will be growing additionally? Um, I still have plenty of other carrot seeds. So if I do run low on these carrots, I know I have more. Um, oh, sorry. I always grow one pumpkin every year. And this year I chose the super moon pumpkin. Sounds super fun. Um, okay, yes, tomatoes and peppers are a staple in my garden every year. Um, I pick those up from a local nursery and I plan on doing that again this year. <clears throat> Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts and broccoli. I will try those again. I need to get more insect netting and those I also buy from our local nursery. So all in all, I'm set. Um, and I look forward to getting out there and planting a garden. I don't greenhouse uh, prep my own seeds or anything like that here. Everything's direct sown. Um, 
I have done winter sewing before, so if you're interested in that, I have a couple winter sewing videos. It's a hit or miss. It's so dependent on how your winter is gonna go. Um, and I just would rather not go through all that effort again, not knowing exactly. Just the weather's crazy lately, right? You can't be guaranteed that you're not gonna get 50 degrees these days during winter, even up here in the north. So you really need good cold, extended cold seasons to ensure your winter sowing success. What else? Oh, herbs. Um, so I will uh, use my, be using one of my green stalk garden planters again for herbs like oregano, basil, um, thyme, parsley, cilantro, and I have sage growing outside already. So I'm hoping that um, some of the oregano I grew last year comes back. I know that that can act as a perennial crossing my fingers, but stay tuned because I don't know when, probably sometime in February, I'll share my garden plan with you guys on how I'm gonna lay out my garden this year, initial thoughts, because my strawberries are coming out of there this year, so I can have two more beds for vegetable growing space. So that's gonna be new. But we're still growing strawberries, they're just gonna move somewhere else on the farm. Thanks guys for watching, and if you haven't gotten your seeds ordered, um, in my gardener, Haas Tools, So True Seed, Seed Savers Exchange, Johnny Seed, all reputable seed companies that I have used myself. I will leave those links below. One other thing to get your orders in if you have not already, and I already have, is your onion um, seeds, especially here. And uh, I think down south you guys can start those in the winter, but up here up north, we can't start them till early spring. So get your onions in um, or orders in. We order from Dixondale Farms and they are hands down who you should go through to get your onions ordered from. What else? Um, other sweet potatoes, right? Sweet potatoes, I think this year, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try to grow our own slips. Um, I did put an order in for some just in case. I can always cancel that order if I don't need it. Um, but we're gonna try to order our own slips or not order, sorry, grow our own slips. And uh, regular potato starts, I'll just replant some of my own that are down in the cellar. So I haven't had to buy potatoes for a couple of years because I just replant my own. So another tip for you. Thanks guys for watching and happy garden planning. That is what January and February is all about for me is garden planning. We get our first seeds in the ground in March. So we are Michigan zone 6B, I think I am. And I, yes, I can't believe it's already here again. That's really exciting. Talk to you guys later.